Hey, 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 happy 564 of What's She Up To Now? Sharon Horn Elson here, also known as Pajama Grandma. Today, I am taking a breather. I've got a few things that I have to do, but based on everything that's been going on in my personal life, not so much my business life, I finished a challenge yesterday, a seven day challenge. I'm taking a little breather for a couple of days. Um, finished getting my old house ready for sale and that's a ton of work. I forget. It was a big house, and it, it, it is a big house, and a ton of work. Um, I got a couple things to do today. The window washers are coming today, so I'm going to watch them work, and the cable installers are coming to the new place today. Not cable. What am I talking about? Cable. Internet. <laughs> I guess people still use cable. I, I haven't had cable for, Jesus, decades. Um, so I'm working on that stuff, getting some, some detailed things lined up for the new house which I mean, it's just a temporary gap for me. And then wrapping up some things at the old house and then we'll get that going and, and rolling so that I don't have to be, a, I mean, can be a backseat part of it, but I don't have to be um, interacting with it on a, a continuous hard work basis. Um, my hands and my knees and my body need a bit of a rest over the last couple of weeks. And so I'm just gonna take a breather. My grandmother, my beautiful 99 year old grandmother passed away last week. So this Wednesday is her funeral and a bunch of my, well, all my sisters and my cousins and a bunch of us are all getting together and gonna spend a couple of days in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin with all together because, you know, my grandma was 99. It's probably the last time maybe a lot of us will see each other. We're from all over the country and we don't get together anymore because we all have our own families and our own lives. So it'll be really fun to spend a couple of days doing that. So I'm giving myself permission to actually take a big break for a, most of this week. So what's today? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I mean, I'll still be doing my videos. I'll still be posting, but I'm putting even my coaching and consulting students on hold and customers on hold for this week. And I've rescheduled those appointments and it's easy to do. And everybody's really understanding and great, especially when someone passes away. So I will not start another challenge until next week. I'm telling myself right now, no challenges this week, except some personal challenges to like make my body move. And then next week we'll have another challenge. I don't know what it's gonna be exactly yet, but I think it's gonna be another supersize your sales challenge because I want to do a much better job than I did last week on that. And I want to see if I can roll that into a weekly thing to roll out to one of my um, clients that does a, an application, a mobile app that I'm actually creating that little challenge for. So we'll see if I can get that smoothed out so that they want to use that. And I'm teaching them. I want to do it and then I'll teach them how to do it. I like to prove things work before I share them with other people. So I'm just taking a couple of deep breaths this week. I like to think of, Wayne Dyer always says, what does he say now? I'm not gonna remember just because I'm trying to think of it. Um, imagine more and act less. I think he probably got that from Esther and Jerry Hicks because Esther and Abraham and those teachings say that a lot. You know, imagine more, visualize more, and then you'll get inspired action and then take action. So I'm gonna take this week to try to just visualize more, breathe a little, give myself some space and really hone in on the direction that I want to move as I'm moving forward in my offline to online business transformation. Every once in a while we need to do that. And I tend to run, run, run against a brick wall, full force, full speed. And then when I hit the wall, I'm like, okay, that didn't work. What do I do now? And then I have to change directions. So this week I'm just going to take a little time and some steps back and say, okay, this is what we've been doing. This is where we're focusing. How is that working? Is this the direction I want to go? Does this feel right to me? Does this feel good to me? And if so, yes, we'll keep going that direction. If not, we'll back off a little bit and zip down a different path or a different road. So what are you working on? If you're working on anything I can help you with, go ahead, hit me up in the comments below. Be advised, I may or may not get back to you until Thursday or Friday. Just, just let me, you know, that's the way it is. I probably would respond immediately, but tell you, hey, I'm not gonna get back to you till Thursday or Friday. So be forewarned. Forewarned is prepared, right? That's it, go out, make it an awesome day. I'm actually maybe gonna go 
get dressed and take a little rest before my beautiful four-year-old granddaughter gets here because I'm excited to see her. I haven't seen her for a few days and I miss her. I miss her when I don't see her. Her great-grandfather passed away last week as well. She lost two great, great, great or great, great. I, I don't know. It's too mind-boggling for me. I'm going to say great, great. She lost her great, great grandpa and now then it's, on Thursday she lost her great, great grandmother on my son's side of the family. So on her mom's side of the family, her great, great grandpa, and on my side of the family, her great, great grandma. So it was an interesting week. So a funeral a week for the poor little one. And not poor little one, she she didn't mind. She loved the old people. So go out, make an awesome day, and I will, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye.